I'm just gonna put a little lip gloss on. Welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna have a look in my bedroom. <laughs> so far I've done a room tour in every room that I've had for the past four years and I've done a room tour for every bedroom that I've had during uni. This is my last university bedroom. Many of you might have already seen it already but we're gonna have a look today. If you haven't seen my flat tour video go give that a watch as well. I show you around my whole flat which is incredible. I have little Isabella here that David got me it should be the living room but i made this into a bedroom so this is what you see when you walk in this is my whole bedroom so let's have a little look in detail shall we oh yay the sun's coming out the sun is coming out just for this video sunshine turn to the left you get my little clothing rail. My mirror is like right in front of me here. So for all my like pictures on Snapchat and Instagram of my outfits and stuff, this is the background that you can see. Oh, it's really bright now. I put this little trolley that I've had for a couple years just inside the wardrobe section just because there's not many surfaces in this room that I can like put stuff I just thought it looked nice I used it to put shoes on the bottom and then I just put my jewelry so I used to have my jewelry box on here which is now in the other room but I have my Tiffany's and my little vodka stand with some bracelets on just some more jewelry so I got these from Tiger I love leaves and greenery and just feeling like I live in a jungle is the best my cowgirl hat that I wore for summer ball it was like the most incredible time ever. Little memorabilia, um, a little message from my mum, a picture of me when I was little. I don't know, I just found it and put it up. And then we've got all my clothes. So I kind of have it in like a sort of like a category. So I've got dresses and like going out clothes. You can see my sparkly dress and like dresses and stuff. And then like going out tops. And then it kind of goes to more like wintry tops. I've got all my shears together. I've got like long sleeves together. I hate to be one of those people that say I did it first, but I found this freaking neon green shirt before they were a thing. And I was like, oh my God, I need that. No one else in the world has ever worn anything like this. I must buy it. A couple weeks later, it's everywhere. Look how cool this shirt is. My mum's friend gave this to me because she knew that I like I like Playboy. My favourite blue sparkly dress. This makes me think of Baby Spice it's from Urban Outfitters. One of the most incredible things I own. I'll probably never get rid of this. The exposure is going mad. This is the dress that I wore in my last bedroom tour. This is one of my coolest favourite jackets. This is another one of my favourite jackets ever. I bought it in uh, New York, New York, uh, Brooklyn in a thrift market. This little thing that's really handy that you can just like hang up and I just put all my hats, my caps, um, other hats, sunglasses, accessories, belts, just random stuff that doesn't have a home, little bags and that down there. Some of my shoes are out in the hallway, so check my flat tour to see them. Basically got all my heels and my dressy shoes here and then I've got some more heels on here. We have my glorious, glorious, infamous leopard print carpet, which I love, I adore. I cannot wait to one day have a living room that I can put this carpet in. I just think it's everything. Here's my window. It's uh, lovely, the sun is coming out. We've got my beautiful tree, <laughs> my beautiful tree. A tree here that I've made friends with over this year. This is like the roof, so down there is a cafe. We um, quite often used to go out here and like sunbathe or like after a night out, we'd go up there and just like chill. You can just like sort of crawl out through the window. Not really sure if you're supposed to, but we did anyway. This tarmac like soaks up all the heat from the sun and like projects it back into the house. So it's always hot over here is where i do i actually probably shouldn't leave my makeup here because it's in the sun but as i put this little fan here to try and like shade it but i don't think it really works i've got my lip pencils just bits i reach for quite often and that's kind of it and my little face mirror hello i've got this chair which is so broken it's like wobbly it's only got one arm left i'm pretty sure it's like gonna come off its hinges soon but uh, I won't need it anymore, I guess, after uni. I uh, supposedly do work on it. I actually do remember actually writing quite a lot of my dissertation at this desk. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
generally I don't tend to sit at this desk to do work. I don't know what it is. I just I just don't. I usually end up just watching YouTube videos or eating my breakfast here like while watching YouTube videos. Random bits and bobs like paperwork at my desk but not actual work like I don't really even like editing at my desk I always like to be more comfortable I've got my wall with my whole year I really like to see my whole entire year in front of me it just really helps me visualize and see like how much time I've got I have a video where I explain my whole mood board the meaning behind it and why I've put it up there so uh, I'll leave that also in the description as well you can check that up out of this video. Usually my little pink neon light is here but I've just put a candle and some fragrances just for now. I don't even usually have this candle on by thought for the video you know. And then over here I've just got a little plant which Dana one of my best friends at uni gave to me and some little rose quartz which I use to do facial massage. This is actually growing quite a lot. And then here is my infamous um, diary. I write all my to-do lists and stuff like that. And then we have my wall of fame. It has every show from third year. So our first term big show, Freakenstein. This show that me and Chester wrote and performed. This is the, that was like my favourite one. That's us on there. We both played two different characters. It's called a Midsummer Night's Rave. It was so good. It was actually really funny. Far from the main crowd, which I played the freaking lead role in so I was so so proud of that so obviously I've got that there these are the leaves from the set that they had in the show and this was the program it's got all of our headshots on I'm just really really proud of it so I've obviously got them all up there and then this is just a little show that I made with a friend of mine and some other friends and then this is my summer ball wristband it was like the most incredible time I've ever had it was such a good end to like the most incredible three years of my life. I probably will never throw this away. It was just a really, really good time. To-do list up there to keep me going in the right direction. These drawers are so messy, but I'll show you anyway. I just have all my bits and bobs. I've got pens, Sharpies. I've got all my diaries in here. I keep all my hard drives here. And then this is just, everybody needs this random drawer um, with all their crazy shit in it so that is literally all just junk but i do tend to use all of it so that's why it's there and cameraing is not my forte i've got all my makeup in here I'm pretty simplistic i just stuff it all in here there is actually organization to it but yeah that's all that's my makeup bottom two shelves of skincare and nails i just allow myself one shelf that's about this high, books for university, paperwork. Down the side, I just uh, keep my big headphones, which I use for recording. Some more skincare bits that I don't reach for too often. And then underneath, you can see all the wires. There's my internet box. This way, oh, it's where my cat is. These are my favorite. These I've been in like all of my room tours. Believe it or not, this used to be pink. And it's now white, but it's nice because they both match now. Playboy tin, which I got from um, a charity shop. And again, this used to be pink and really pretty. And the sunlight has just like taken all the color out of it. And it's like gone rusty and it's kind of gross, but I just keep hairpins in there and clips and hair bands. I've got my hairbrush, which I don't use so much anymore since I've, I've kind of trying to stop brushing my hair. I'm going through some hair problems. I've got my most reached for like hair and skin products in here and then other skin hair and just any kind of beauty products, random stuff that I don't use a lot go from there. Here's my mirror. I've always wanted like a really big, like big mirror, Ikea version, but I've just had to do with this little one but it, it's fine it's done me well for the past three years i actually hide stuff behind it you can see behind it like i've got all my hair tools so i've got my hair dryer my extensions are actually in that little round thing there i've got my hair scarf that i use um you might have seen my hair video where i show you how i wrap my hair up to make it straight people have been doing it for centuries and now here we have my bed this bed i've has been like in the family for a very long time. I had this 
at home when I lived with my parents. I had it in my first year. I didn't have it in my second year, now I've had it in my third year. I don't know why that matters, but I just thought I'd let you know. It's like really old, it's like got springs underneath, so it's like super bouncy. I've got my Playboy pillow, which I love very much, and then I bought this recently <laughs> while I was going um, on a very long boat trip to Guernsey, and like, it's not actually that comfortable. My head still like flopped around even with this, so I just figured I could use it when I'm like watching Netflix, and I just wanna like, chill. Holly dog, she's kind of been with me everywhere. And then uh, just a blanket. It's actually way too hot to use this blanket, but I like how it looks. So when I go to bed, I just flip it over. And then I've got this weird kind of awkward empty space just in this little corner, but I kind of really like it. Got my Pulp Fiction poster up there. I really love Quentin Tarantino. And I just enjoy this poster. But yeah, I've just got this little, little empty corner. But I, I kind of like it. The only thing I put here is just my little tray. So it's just this cute little vintage tray that my mum got me for my birthday one year. And it's handy just to like put my laptop on if I'm watching a movie in bed or uh, Netflix or, or even if I just want to eat dinner. Or if I'm like, sometimes if I'm sat on my sofa and I want to edit or go on my laptop, I'll like sit with it like this. So this is quite handy. Really pretty. I was like originally going to try and find a little shelf or something to put in here, but I just quite like that it's empty. Like it just feels nice. It just gives more space to the room, I guess. Little um, bedroom pieces and my favorite legendary dressing gown, which is like insane, but I really sh should wear it more, but I just don't because the feathers get everywhere. But basically the idea when I bought this was that, you know, like in Clueless, and she's got that like big grand opening with a staircase that goes up and all the floors are marble. Basically, this is what I'm gonna wear and I'm gonna have those little like mule heels with the feathers in the front. And I'm just gonna click clop around my house and then someone will ring on the doorbell, answer the door and be like, I'm here. <laughs> Mark my words, in some way or another, it will happen. So that was the idea behind buying this. Oh, yeah, see look. All the feathers have got on the ground already. <laughs> I've just thrown the feathers there. I've got my little pink bunny slippers. If you ever played The Sims Bustin' Out uh, when you were younger, you know the mum sim? She wears like the iconic bunny slippers and then you could like get them like as a rare item in some of The Sims games. So I just knew that I needed a pair of pink bunny slippers. Down here, I keep uh, some handy dandy little boxes that I keep the rest of my clothes in. And then I've got like out of season clothes, a big jumper, cause it's summer at the moment, so it's really hot. And I've got a pair of boots in there, just some other um, boots and bits. <laughs> boots and bits. Can just about fit my little bedside table in here. Uh, it looks dirty, but it's just stained from all the years of cups of tea on there. Uh, and then I've got this little light. I found these outside. <laughs> they came from a restaurant, I think. They are outside a restaurant, but I took them home and like cleaned them and disinfected it. And uh, now it's pretty and it lives there. So basically all of the contents of those drawers are kind of private. So I don't really show it very often. Oh yeah, I've got that little poster up there. Wow, that's it. I feel really out of breath because it's really hot and I'm wearing this big old velour tracksuit, but I had to because it's so iconic. Look at it. I love this. By the way, oh my God. Look at this. So I may as well do a little outfit of the day while I'm here. <laughs> God. Guys, I spent quite a bit of money on this, but it was like I'd just been paid at the time and I was like, I need this in my life. So I bought the misguided tracksuit. I freaking love it. How iconic is that? Like, it's insane. And the whole outfit looks so good with these bunny slippers. So I now have a total of three velour tracksuits. Um, but you can never have enough. Yeah, it's just insane, I love it. I actually don't wear it too much because I don't wanna like wear it out or like break it. I had to sew the bottoms because these are actually like mega long so you can wear it with heels and stuff, but they just dragged on the floor and I wanted to wear it outside without like getting them dirty. So I actually sewed them three or four inches that I had to sew to the inside. My Tiffany's heart toggle necklace. I invested in this myself. I bought it with my own money. It was very expensive, but it was secondhand. But it was like really good quality. But I've got a little scratch on it actually. I need to get that sorted. Oh, 
gosh i'm like really tired out and uh i feel a bit dizzy actually because i'm so hot i'm gonna open the window that is my room tour i am moving out in three days i'm really really sad but this has been like one of my favorite rooms i've actually i've loved all my rooms i've lived in for university i've been very very lucky with bedrooms i've always had a pretty decent size and my second year was like incredible obviously i lived with like all actors and people that were on my course and that's when i met david and obviously we got on so well that we moved into this flat together i spent the first like two months here alone because he moved in late and then i've spent the last two months here alone so um it's been a little bit lonely but i like it and we've had so much fun here so many memories have been made it's just been a really good time i'm very blessed it's in like a great location we live in town there's like a gay bar right across the road literally dymk is right like just down a couple blocks and across the road we would just used to like go on a friday night we would just like go over like come back go over and just like yeah we had a lot of fun. I'm very grateful to this wonderful home for keeping me safe. If you liked it, please give it a like. It's really windy. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. The whole shebang. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I will see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. How interesting can we get with the thumbnail? I'm such a fucking dork. <laughs> I may have almost fallen off the bed whilst trying to film the thumbnail. <laughs> Take two. I think that was a good one actually.